Right then, people of the tube, you are back. So if the, uh, the old current bun's blinding you at the minute, it will be gone. It's a night session tonight. Uh, it's very windy as well, so I apologise in advance. But, you know, I've had a few car issues, so I ain't been able to get out for the last week or so. But Sunday, don't have work tomorrow. Got not a week off with the wife. Promised I'd spend a week with her, so I had to get at least one session in. Uh, wind's due to drop later on. Um, obviously, we're down on the South Arms. Again, after the elusive guilt. This time, I, last, I went fishing and uh, there was a guy next to me at a uh, guilt head. And this was the setup he was using. So I decided I'd give it a go, see if I could do it. Um, he showed me, like, it's, it's just basic, simple stuff. Um, obviously, freeway swivel. But it's not as big as I'd normally go. It's a really small rig. So it's probably about a foot foot long and then half a foot of trace just like that and I've got the chinu there size 3 chinu and then I've got a size 2 stinger so I'm going to load that up with a whole crab just pull the back off put them on there and hopefully we can uh, get us a gilt because obviously last time last session we didn't do very well obviously I'm with crab man Chris again so we're out we're out all night we're out till about 6 in the morning we've got our uh, Got the waterproofs as well, because we are due a naughty, naughty few showers in the morning from about one o'clock onwards. But you know, you're not going to catch fish if you ain't fishing, are you? So, uh, yeah, that's about it, really. Thank you all again for your subscribes and messages and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Proper geezers and diamonds and girls and that sorted. So all of you out there that are following and showing the love, thank you very much. As I said, I am going to be trying to hit some. Species I haven't caught before. So hopefully in this video we'll get a couple. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I very doubt if we're gonna blank at this spot. Um, especially at night time, because there's congas. So <laughs> I'm sure if nothing else, we'll have a conger, conger or two. But obviously prime suspect we are after tonight is the elusive guilt. Um, I have been watching a few videos as well. Uh, people that go out looking for like targeting gilts specifically and um, they've said things like uh, you know they've had 30, 30 to 40 sessions and only caught on two of them <laughs> so uh, hopefully that's not the case and we do manage to get one out but if not I'm sure we'll get something and we'll enjoy it anyway we're out on the bank it's where we love to be we have got some lovely well I've got some frozen crab we have got some live but we're going to wait for low water to use the fresh stuff so even though these are frozen, they should peel off the tops. I would show you all, but you've all seen it before. It's not that exciting. And obviously I don't want to do it too often because not a lot of people like it. But if you go on some other videos, you'll see how to peel a crab. Right, and that's it. Literally, just peel the top, top off, leave the legs and that on. Oh, there you go, catching myself already. And then simple hook in, down, there we go. Bit of twine. Oh, I've got to, lost it. He's only got to lost it. We've only been here 10 minutes, I haven't even got a bait out yet. Oh, well, looks like I'll have to get another one then, doesn't it? Right, bait, oh no, there it is. <laughs> That's the only problem, see, when you're fishing rocks and things like that. You are down behind the bag and my stuff. I've tried making like a little barrier so you can hear me talking. Woohoo! I'm buzzing for this session. Obviously, I was meant to go out a few times, but I've had problems with my brakes. Uh, MOT, my tyres didn't arrive. Oh, nightmare. So I haven't been able to get out. I was hoping to do a couple more trips, but, you know, and I am going away with the wife for a few days as well. So unfortunately, the video might be delayed a little bit. Hope I might be able to get out Friday, and that'll be up North Devon area. I think depends if we're at our mum's or not. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely get out. We'll get out for at least one more video this week. Hope, fingers crossed, because otherwise I'll be a bit depressed. Right, and then obviously as we do, you know how we do. Bottom hook in. Try and get the panel hook out the other side. And this is, I mean, I know a lot of people don't use them for gilts, they only use one hook. But you never know. If 
Kevin takes it from the back, misses that first hook. I've got a second chance of snagging myself a fish. Right, so I'm gonna get this one put up, put the other bait on the other rod. We have brought the lure rod today as well with the fake sand deal. Big ups to Steve for the fake sand deals. They're amazing. I'm gonna have to beat that out and I <laughs> swear on that all the time. But yeah, anyway, I'll beat that out because I ain't editing it. Do you know what I mean? We don't do retakes on this channel. So I'm gonna get this bait out. And there you go, look, just looks like a crab. Hopefully we can get you guys a guilt in a bit. Right then, people. First rod's out. Obviously, Peter Crab. I've got the ratchet set because there's a chance of uh, some, some really big fish here. So hopefully we can pull one out. Um, I was going to do the same rig, same bait. But nah, I've, I've decided, you know, hopefully I do catch one. Um, and if I do get a good bite on that bait, we will do both Peter Crab baits. But I have also bought myself some razor. Got some fresh razor and some frozen razor. So we're gonna bind it. We're gonna sort of put half and half, half frozen, half fresh. Get that bound up. I'm gonna fish this on the pulley panel. Uh, Cause you do get a lot of bass around this area. It's gonna be a big bait as well. So hopefully a big gilt or a big bass will smash it. Obviously it will be dark soon. You can see the sun there. Just about to set me on my ass. All right. So a little bit different. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna hit this one right out into the tide line. The other one I've got just in front of the tide line. It's where we are. There's a big tidal push, and there's a couple of anglers just left of us. So, you know, I don't want to be taking the mix too much. So I'm gonna put a seven on. I'm gonna hit it into the channel, and hopefully, it gets us a fish. Obviously, this one's a lot longer. This is one of my old school pulleys. Um, hook choice. I've gone for the same. The size. It's size three, size three chinu, and a size one stinger. And that there, that there is really just to sit in the back, keep the bait straight. And uh, just in case a fish hits the back, at least I've got a chance to catch it rather than fishing two really big hooks and just making it just look too much. You know? Obviously, this, this hook here is not huge. So anything over the like two, two pound mark will get that in its mouth easy. I mean, I've used these hooks and caught, <laughs> you've seen anyway on my channel, you know, caught bass that's smaller than the bait. So that's that. So with this one, got some free bit of razor. The razor does stink, guys. And uh, I like it when it's frozen because it peels out the shell really nicely. And uh, you can get a really good wrap on it. You'll find once you've um, frozen them, and if you defrost them, they go not as firm as they used to be. Oh, well, there you go. Look, Chris's rod's on one. Chris's rod's just folded it half. Go on, Bayo, pick him up. He might have done you. Is it a rat? Keep reeling, boy, because he'll do you. But there you go, look. Live action. There's going to be a fish for the camera already, please. Right, I'm going to get this one wrapped up. And I'll bring it back. With, well, I'm going to get Chris to bring it over this time. But I've got to keep an eye on my rod because <laughs> he's using crab as well. We might have been using lug actually. We've got some fresh lug too. We've got all the baits tonight. So, oh, have we lost it? Well, he lost that one. <laughs> well, hopefully we get a few because we've been here only 10 minutes and he's already had a, a really good bite. So, all right. <sighs> I was going to say bring you back then, but I'm not going to help him because he doesn't need my help. Right. Lost it. Whip, whip, whip. Yeah, Rob Bender. Go, yeah, Rob Bender, that was my bait. Yeah, he's rushing around, get another bait out. Smashed his bait right off, that did. Yeah, I've got a crab out there now. Well, I've got a crab, and obviously that's a whole razor there. Lovely big razor. Um, obviously these aren't the shop bought ones. The ones you get in the shop are a lot smaller, but luckily for me, me and Chris, we know a few spots where you can get them. Get yourself. But there's not many, so that's our spot. <laughs> right. 
I'm gonna get this one out, get everything settled, have a coffee, and uh, bring you back with an update. Hopefully, a fish in a bit. <laughs> Absolute! Look at that. The patterns on them. Abs oh, there we go. Absolute beast. That's the first fish. Chris just had it. Been here about half an hour. So hopefully, there's many more to come. Absolute peach. Let's try and get a mega one in a bit. Right, guys. <laughs> Darkness is just about to hit. And there you go, first fish. Naughty little conga. Ruin my rig, look at the state of it. <laughs> oh, you know, nice little chunker. There you have it. We're on the fish, fish on. <laughs> oh, I know it's only a conga, but a lot of people don't like catching them because they're snotty, but you know, it is what it is, we're catching fish. Lovely bite, straight over, slack line me. And hopefully we can get one of these about 30 pound. <laughs> right, nice dark one this. Usually they're a bit lighter. But absolutely lovely fish. Right, <laughs> gonna get this one back. Hopefully there's loads more to come. Like I said, we're fishing here till morning. I've bought the lure rod as well. So at first light, we're gonna try and get a naughty little bass out on the lure. We ain't had one yet. We've had a couple of really, really small ones. As you've seen on one of my shorts, but there you go. Fish number two, one for me, one for Chris. You never know, I might even beat him tonight, <laughs> in a bit. Right guys, obviously it's getting a bit darker now, so we are gonna get a little bit hindered by the, uh, the smaller congas, but you never know, we might get a bigger one. Uh, that one come on the crab bait, uh, which I put out for either a gilt or a bass, but I have got a uh, sandy and squid wrap out there at the minute as well. And that's what I, that was what I was expecting to get it on really because we usually use fish baits for them but you know they will take anything do you know what I mean they are scavengers so hopefully the next big one comes on the uh, the fish bait but you never know you never know what you're going to catch here there's lots of lots of species of fish here and there is a good chance of a really good fish so obviously we're not blanking we're not blanking in this video which is a bonus um Chrissy's just over to my uh, my right there, down in the corner. A little bit further away. We spaced ourselves out because we are using four rods and the tide can start to rip through here quite well. So the last thing we want is uh, pitch black, one o'clock in the morning, one of us to get a fish and then all the rods to get tangled because that would be a nightmare. But leads are holding really well. Uh, fingers crossed, and had a lot of weed. Um, but yeah, obviously, Thank you all again for the messages and that private ones on like Messenger and things like that. Much appreciated. Uh, Dave Brown, proper geezer. He's been messaging me quite a lot with some good support and that. And uh, I think we're gonna get some fishing in uh, north of Cornwall we live. So hopefully we'll get a, uh, a good session in with him as well, get him on the camera. He knows a few good spots. So that's what it's about, isn't it? Getting out. Enjoying, enjoying the bank with a few people. Obviously I can't, you know, if I, people want to go fishing with me, that's fine, you know, I'll always welcome to a session and stuff. But um, obviously I've got quite a lot well, with work and like getting my own sessions in for YouTube and stuff. You know, it's quite tight, so I can't give like a timestamp on it, but more than welcome to join anyone whenever I'm in their ends. I think there's a few people having a social up pool way. Uh, if I can get my car back working properly and like, trust it to drive that far or head up there on the weekend and try and get out with them but uh, other than that it'll just be like localish marks within driving range you know so if I do break down or whatever I've got my wife to pick me up because she's an absolute legend right well, I'm going to get back to the fishing now hopefully I'll bring you back with a fish in fact I'm probably definitely bringing you back with a fish that's how confident I am tonight <laughs> right in a bit well, guys, <laughs> I don't know how to explain to you. Watch this happen. I was baiting up with my other rod. The other rod's just bent over, doubled over into two. Oh my God, I've hooked into a fish. I've never hit a fish like that in my life. I'm still shaking. <laughs> oh, literally, I've got it halfway in and don't come off. Uh, so I've upgraded my hooks now. I've put two bigger hooks on. Wow. <sighs> oh, pff. Is the light? Oh, my light's not very good. There we go got some better light but yeah i can't believe it i mean that rod literally i turned around it was doubled over in two um i'm pretty sure it wasn't a conga i mean if it was it was a mega conga 
But when I hit into it, it was a boss, 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 boss. I couldn't do anything with it. Just kept going and going and going. I gained a bit of line on it. Tunk, hook come out. Absolutely fuming. I'm pretty sure it got that top small panel work because there's no way that chinny would have come out. <sighs> Shaking. <laughs> Hopefully we get another fish. Obviously we're not going to get that one because that one would have felt the earth and he bolted. But I've never hit, I've never hit into something that, that big ever. I literally, it was thumping and thumping and thumping. Right, time to recollect, re recollect, <laughs> reevaluate, take some deep breaths, get that adrenaline down because I'm shaking. <laughs> Fingers crossed we land one of them. That'll be mega for the channel. Oh, I wish I had that on camera. That was a joke. I couldn't, the rod was going, it was gone. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> and that's the mystery. That's the mystery of sea fishing. You never know what you're going to hook into. And that's the buzz. Right, I'm going to get back to it because I don't want to miss another one in a bit. Right guys, oh, <laughs> species number three, the good old doggy doggy dog fish. Not the one that gave me the big bite, but you know, it's all the fish, all the same. So that's three species now, but definitely into the fish. So it was definitely worth coming down here for the night. Obviously it's only been a couple of hours, so there's loads of hours left of fishing. So hopefully it's going to be a really good one and it's going to be full of fish. Um, quick change. I have put two pulley panels on now with, uh, bigger size hooks because uh, I don't know I look after losing that fish I don't want the heartbreak again <laughs> I can't believe it I can't believe I lost it but uh you know can't catch them all but I've never hooked into something that big ever <laughs> right so hope we're gonna get this one back now gonna whack another baits out another bait <laughs> some more baits and uh hopefully we can land one of them mega monsters <sighs> adrenaline's still in there a little bit I mean add another bite of, oh yeah we've got one now got the good old dog fish so gonna get this one back now and hopefully we'll get you some more in a bit. Bosh. Right guys. Um, no monsters yet. Uh, we're just at low water. Bites have died off the last hour or so. So hopefully when the tide starts pumping we'll have a few more fish. Um, we had a couple of small strap heels, like really small, like bootleg size. So just unhook them at the water and put them straight back. Uh, I would have shown them to the camera, but I mean, we've seen a few now and uh, yeah, they do. They make a mess. Do you know what I mean? They slime everything up, and uh, we are here for a while, so we don't want to get too mucky. But um, if we get a mega one, I'll show you. But if not, I'll just keep putting them back. So we've had about six or seven fish now. Um, obviously, a few species as we've seen. Um, as this tide turns, hopefully we'll pick up a nice bass or something like that. Um, I have stuck to the size. Um, Pair of size fives now. Uh, Chinnies though, so they're not as wide, not as big as the JX. Um, just for the simple fact, if I get another fish like I did earlier, take my bait, I don't want to lose it. Because <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure what happened was it smashed the bait, but it, the small hook had like got hold. And like the power of the fish, it was just swimming up tide. Bang, 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 bang. And obviously the weight of it just, pull, just pulled that small hook out. I know that if it was set properly, it probably wouldn't have pulled out, but... If I if it had took, if it had crapped me off, I would have thought it was a seal that we seen earlier. But uh, now nah, mega fish, but can't have them all. Still haven't got over it yet. <laughs> uh -uh. Hopefully, hopefully we manage another one. But yeah, just a quick update. Uh, it's about two o'clock now, so probably another three or four hours of the incoming tide. So hopefully we get a mega one. If not, it's been a great night's fishing anyway. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna have a coffee and get back to it in a bit. Right guys, so as you can see, no fish. <laughs> uh, yeah, bites have died off now. Um, haven't, had any, haven't had any activity really for the last few hours. Um, so we're gonna fish these last baits. Uh, maybe leave them out for another half an hour. It has just started raining as well. So um, we're not gonna sit here and get really, really wet if we're not getting any bites. Um, obviously, I've learned a little bit today from fishing this mark. Uh, if I was to come back here again, I'd fish three hours over the, like up to the top and then three hours back down. After that, it's quite hard fishing. Uh, there's a lot of reef. There's uh, big beds of weed that are really high. So obviously we're casting over them and reeling in, but if we were to hook a nice big fish, the probability of landing it would be very low. Just for the fact that, that it would get tangled up in the weed. And when I mean weed beds, I mean, uh, <laughs> Probably about three meters tall, so yeah. 
that's about that really um yeah so obviously we're going to fish these out if we catch a fish i'll throw it in at the end but if not as always if i don't see you before i'll see you after and if not i'll see you on the bank in a bit